dot Nitin Tiwari, and I will show you how an angiography is done. See, basically, angiography is a is a hardly an OPD procedure now because we have to admit a patient for only hardly two to three hours only, and we discharge the patient. Actually, what we do is the patient is fully awake during the procedure. It is done in a cath lab. As you can see, this is the cath lab. This is a monitor. The patient lies down. We give a local anesthesia, a small injection here at the wrist, and that that area is totally pain free now. Then we put a small needle inside till the blood comes out. Put a wire, and then a small sheath inside up till here. And then there's a catheter. A catheter is hardly a small pipe, like the wires. You know, it's hardly around. 2.2 millimeters or 2 millimeters in diameter, and it's around 100 centimeters in length. So it goes through this artery, like this, into the main vessel of the heart, and then we engage the coronary arteries. Now here I must tell you that there are three coronary arteries: two on the left, one on the right. Now I'll show you after the engagement of the coronary artery, we inject a contrast, a dye. That actually shows us the anatomy of the arteries, whether they are normal or whether there is any blockage inside. Now I'll show you one case. So this is the coronary angiogram. This is the catheter, a small pipe, two millimeter diameter pipe through which we inject the contrast. And here you see the black colored thing is the contrast. And out of the three arteries, this is the circumflex coronary artery. Circumflex. Now this is the circumflex artery. There is a big branch, and here you can see this area is normal, this area is normal, and this area is slightly narrower. So this is around 40% blockage, 40%. 40%. Now such kind of blockages can be managed medically only. There is no need of any angioplasty or any bypass for this. Now there are two arteries on the left. One, one I showed you, circumflex. The other artery is the LAD, left ant anterior descending artery. As you can see over here, this diameter is fine, normal. And here you can see it gets narrowed down over here. And then again, this is fine. So it's around 90% of block, 90% block. It is various projections, various angles we see, various angles we see, around 7-8 of them, to just confirm the severity. So we need to put a stent from here to here, so that this becomes flowing and it is normal. That is called an angioplasty. A metallic mesh tube we have to put. And the procedure is similar. We, this is the catheter. We put a wire across the catheter and put that stent inside, so that this diameter actually increases. Third artery on the right, called as the right coronary artery, and here this diameter you can see it's quite big. The artery is quite big over here; it's all normal. But in the middle part, you can see it is quite narrow. This area, this area is very narrow. It's around 80 to 90 percent of block, and it also needs an angioplasty. We put a stent from here to here, so that this area becomes normal and the patient is absolutely fine. So this is, in short, angiography.